random study tips for autistic middle schoolers because well you may be going to middle school next year i am going to middle school next year so pick your choice so pick your choice so the first study tip is go to where you like like your bedroom the living room but if your living room is too noisy, just go to your bedroom. You can also go outside if you want peace, but if you have allergies, do not go. <clears throat> like, if it's springtime, if it's wintertime currently, well, you're going to be freezing cold. Yeah. Oh, and also, don't worry about how you study. Just try your best on studying because you're going to be more better if you like study more. Or because so if you study more, you'll get one happy teacher. But if you decide to, well, I'm gonna be lazy, I don't wanna do work. You're going to basically fail your class. Like, I know that how it's going to be a little terrible, but if it's a hard class that you don't like, just try your best or ask a pair or ask like one of your parents parents to like do your work for you and try to get hints. Do not use AI. Cause well, teachers are not being a bad thing out there. They're using AI detectors now for some reason. So keep on studying, keep up, keep up and cope. Please don't use this as a meme, this is for middle schoolers only. Okay. So, like if you're trying to like ace your test, don't rush. Like I know your teacher taught you this when you were in like fifth grade, fourth grade, whatever. Cause rushing it, it will kind of make your test has to look a little strange. Or rushed, obviously. So what you do? So what should you do? Well, you should typically, one, on, ask your parents to help you with a math pro with like a problem you're stuck in. Let's take an example. Math. If you're stuck in a very hard math problem, just ask, Hey mom or hey dad, had, had I need help with this question. What is number her time times number? Like just ask your parents. Stop using a. Are you little ringa? Anyways, good luck in your studying. Thank you.